Hello, Aternum, and welcome to KOTT News, Aternum's number one source for news. And this is the War Report. No change in the dynamic of Aternum last night as all five great houses hold court. KOTT news crews were in Morningdale covering the event when we noticed a new local hotspot. A fully stocked wine bar sets the mood with aperitifs and cordials leading to the main dinner. On a terraced formal dining platform giving guests a panoramic view of the canal district. An outstanding stop along the way should you find yourself in Morningdale someday. Turning to the weather and you could say the sun isn't going to rise in the morning, but you'd be wrong because once again, it's a beautiful day all day long. Until late evening, Arctic blasts may cause invasions in Weaver's Fen. Two rosters submitted for simulated fantasy combat resolution tonight brought to you by LARPGO. Remember, if it isn't LARPGO, it's cardboard. Up first. The Syndicate forces of Bontext attack the marauders of Dontext for the bear-infested northern forests of Brightwood. For context, Bontext enters the woods in order to reclaim what was once founded by Syndicate forces. For Dontext in context, formerly known as Apeguard, formerly known as any m Tenors, are marauders at heart and will take and hold what they can. Then, the Covenant forces of Young Money assail the Syndicate forces of Stronghold for control of the always contentious Restless Shore. Former Great House Young Money attempt to secure the most turbulent region on the island. For Stronghold, they've grown accustomed to the anarchy of the archipelago and look forward to fighting in the mud. Be sure to tune in for complete coverage and reactions from the citizens tonight at 11. Until then, this has been War Correspondent John Chalant. KOTT News.